Okay, so uh, I think on, on this uh, video presentation, we we just will look over some of the uh, some of the marking that you've seen over the last few weeks, and what am I actually looking for in an organic um, chemistry practical? So we're going to just look at this practical, which uh, is presented to cohorts of the group. Um, so it's an organic preparation, and if you look at this, there's obviously a very sewn experimental um, protocol that we can follow. Um, but with this protocol that we've got in place here, I'm not after seeing this repeated back to me in verbatim fashion in your experimental practical. Um, so there's an introduction in place. Uh, I'll just move this mouse around so we've got this introduction here, we've got the schematic, we've got the actual uh, methodology and as well we have in place two uh, oops, move that out of the way oops. we have as well uh, questions in place here so what are we looking for? so let me put up this as a as a powerpoint, oh as a, as a pdf file and, and this is um, a worker from two, three years ago, a pharmaceutical science student from a couple of years previous. And he writes this uh, practical up in a way which is, is obviously hitting the criteria of what the methodology wants. But you can see he produces it as an aim, which is fine. He puts a title. So first of all, we always need a title. We need a name. And we, he puts his introduction in with you know a, a mechanism and indeed this is asked for in the in the question here about you know what is the mechanism of the reaction so I am asking for that so he, he places his mechanism in place here and he's using um, like a chemical drawing package which is all very well and good so if we look at his his practical work here as his method and we read this with comparison to what we have already on this side so we'll just uh, zoom this out oh, sorry we'll zoom this out slightly we'll put this back move this over if we can. so our methodologies are um, very kind of similar and he he, he writes or she writes that they've got the material and then a bracket here with a, a quantity then the close bracket and another bracket with moles um, here and I'm not looking for that and, and, and I keep saying to all of you that you need to look at organic chemistry journals to see how material is reported so it's always kind of put down I in the style of material and then brackets you've got uh, mass or volume and then moles and equivalent so we don't see that here we see we see a, a volume and then close brackets and then a mole value likewise this concentrated aqueous hydrochloric acid we see this volume and then we see this this mole value appears so you know a chemist should be appreciative of what hydrochloric acid is in terms of its concentration it's probably about 18 19 20 molar you should always be saying here what is the percentage volume to volume and if you look here with with what the students has put down in terms of how this is is mixed together oops, close that off so how we've got this mixing process in the separating funnel it's very similar i would say to to what's actually in the methodology so it's kind of getting on to being word word to word repetition of this and we'll just go back and pick on this student's work and then uh, the results again are presented in a fashion where the student finish off, finishes off the methodology but then we see this kind of like a, a new kind of not, you know paragraph area where we've got the mass and the boiling point and the theoretical mass and he, sh he or she showing me some calculations here and I'm not wanting this at all or I, I don't wish to see this 
and I say I don't wish to see it again I, I ask you to look at journals and before you, I, I show you my style of write up um, look at a journal and ask yourself do you see this and the answer is no so you know I am going to mark in a fashion which is representative of the journal I don't see this in a journal you know, I see the methodology maybe but you don't see a new paragraph starting for the results to go in and the results should really follow in the back of the, the methodology so let's look at the methodology so he, talks, he or she talks about carefully mixing with a stopper and swirling and then inversion and then careful, careful use of the set funnel but you know I'm just going to move down to this point here said the resulting organic layer should be transferred into a small round bottom flask and the product is distilled into a pre-weighed ice bath that's indeed good information but again do you see that in a journal that's information that a chemist reading a methodology sheet would pick out and say well I need to do that I need to cool the flask I need to pre-weigh it but you don't want to see that at all in a journal entry and then the student then puts a kind of a discussion point of view into play here where we see uh, the work uh, you know what the results he, he or she believes means or he, some interpretation of infrared data there's no NMR data interpretation at this point it's a very simple NMR by the way but there's there's no you know reference to NMR data there's no kind of reference to to what the boiling point means in relationship to the reference boiling point so there's a there's a whole issue of, of things that I could pick up on this I think the methodology is too representative of what this this written methodology is in your lab manual so that's the first thing I think I think the methodology is too much similar to this too similar to this and and I've got this great problem here about how the results are actually put together and I think it's very poor in terms of its uh, interpretation of the spectral data so I'm not showing you the, the questions to this because obviously you as a group of students should obviously be able to answer these questions any other questions set I just want to talk about the the methodology in place when I'm marking this you can see I'm taking marks off now I'm saying spectral uh, write-up is not correct uh, not in a journal fashion so I'm taking marks away 15 20 marks away 25 marks um, so this student I believe was a th was was about 60 percent in the write-up which is which is fair enough for completing a practical but you know the students losing dramatic amounts of marks now from actually how they're writing up and putting the the spectral data in place so let me just show you what I would submit as a practical write-up so let me move this uh, this window over here what have we got well first of all um, I, I'm not going to say too much at the moment about whether this should be handwritten or done on a PC possibly should be done on a PC but let's just pretend this is a page in your lab book and a, a chemist should always keep up to date a good lab book so let's just say this is a photocopied page so I have a title and of course we should have a we should have a date on at this point here we should have a date listed so what's my aim my aim here is to say well I want to prepare the title compound via SN1 chemistry I reference the safety the safety sheet that's signed off in the lab and then there's the schematic so again very scruffy handwriting I've got but it's a schematic of the reaction and you'll notice here we're putting the molecular formula molecular weight of the starting material the products is shown as molecular formula and weight and then I put into place here a table where we're trying to say what is what's the material we're using so notice I've put the t-butanol the terp-butanol with a density so I take its volume find its mass and its mole equivalence and again I've got percentage volume to volume for sulfuric acid uh, an approximate molarity we've got here volume and then I find the mole of that value so not one to three equivalents so we'll look at this crucially there's a difference so I start off with material and then what do I do quantity, mass or volume, moles and equivalents and again material, well we've got quantity, moles and then equivalents in place and then I'm saying of course it's swirled together in a set funnel for five minutes and but I'm not saying about the stopper use 
or you should be car careful and cautious. I think a chemist should know that. And we're saying quickly then that after five minutes swirling, uh, the organic phase, the top phase, is, is, is washed, well, saturated with brine, and then carefully washed with the, the bicarb, 50 ml, the water, dried, filtered, and then distilled. And I think this is the crucial point for me to say that the distillation, I give the boiling point, and then say it's at atmospheric pressure, and that's a reference at 1, and my reference 1 here, let's say the boiling point is 70 degrees, 70 degrees at atmospheric pressure and then you should reference that to the journal so I then say I've got the product as a clear colourless oil so I've got physical properties of the material I've got the mass I've got the yield that's all there the infrared data is in place and then the spectral data and then I just make a comment the NMR looks good to be a product why is that the case where well, we don't see any and he's starting OH into the infrared, the NMR data is good possibly, the boiling point is agreement with the literature value, reaction is successful. A simple comment, and then your questions as indicated, answer the questions. And look at this, this is this is in a style, which obviously if I was to type it up, all this is in a style where, oh, let's take this out, this is in a style where I could cut and paste it and put it into a document, let's say, to put all experimental work in, let's say this is your undergraduate projects or PhD work or something like that, postdoc work, I could cut and paste that and put it into a bigger file and that allows me now to say with, with a bit of confidence this is, in my view, in my view, representing journal style. So this is what we're looking for, we're looking for short, concise information and you should as well have confidence that, that the reader of this is, a, is is again is a chemist of a trained standard which would read your experimental and say well I'm mixing turp butanol and conch acid in a set funnel that should be careful yeah conch acid that's exothermic if it's in contact with anything else so care and course is needed you don't stop it you don't want the, the, the acid to shoot out and cover you yeah you've got to be careful when you're swirling and mixing this and you don't do it too hard you don't want an emulsion. The chemist should know that, so you don't have to put that in. Yeah, this is this is one practical. But if you were refluxing this, for example, do I need to know that the water from the, the tube goes into the bottom of the condenser from the tap? No, I don't. I don't need to know that it sits on a uh, on a heating mantle in a fume cupboard. I don't need to know that because a chemist should work that out themselves, shouldn't they? So, concise information, journal fashion, literature. Uh, Quoted, so you know literature here in terms of the reference boiling point. Spectral data is accounted for nicely in the experimental. Crucial in the back of the experimental part, we've got a comment to finish off and questions as indicated. And this is what I'm looking for. No more than a page, no more than two pages with with questions as well. So I hope this helps you. Please, 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 please start to look at journals and, and look how journals are written up. That finishes my attempts to show you how to write up an organic lab for your program. Thank you.